Yo, Elliot. Hey, we got a question from our skinny fat friend here. He's uh, 31 years old, 5'10", I think he says, 150 pounds. But here's the kicker, he's about 18% body fat. Yeah, that's skinny fat, all right. So he wants to know why is it that although I'm following a strength training program, 5x5 five five type routine, uh, I grow stronger, but yet I can't get rid of this skinny fatness. My muscles don't grow, and I stay just as fat as I was before I started training, right? I mean, it's cool that I'm getting stronger, Elliot, but Lord, please, I'd like to stop being such a skinny fat bastard. And he goes on to say that it gets even worse because now when I try to manipulate my diet, what happens is if I increase my calories in order to build muscle, uh, I just get fat, I get fatter. And if I cut my, uh, cut my calories, I feel as if I'm getting weaker, the muscle grows smaller. What do I do? Okay, here's my very first piece of advice for you. 5x5 five is a great program. It's a great hybrid program between strength and bodybuilding. Look, not every program works for everybody in the way they would like for it to work. It's gotten you this far, and in fact, if you just started weight training, which I think you said you did, you were, you were a runner before, then you've built a solid foundation of strength with 5x5. Five five. Great, it did its job, but you need to change your program right now. You need to become far more anabolic, and the way you're going to receive this anabolic response from your body, because we're all very different, is with higher volume, higher frequency work. The reason why I say that is because of your build. First of all, you're 31 years old, 150 pounds. Even though you're only five, well, 5'10", five, you're, you're, you're a bit of an ectomorph, if you will. Now, some people don't believe in these categories, but the bottom line is your genetic predisposition lends to this skinny fatness. Um, another thing, another red flag is that you're, you're 31 years old and you used to run a lot. There might be some metabolic damage there. You, you might want to look further into that. So, what I would invite you to do is to find a bodybuilding, straight up, strict bodybuilding, high volume, high frequency program to follow. Now, I know it goes against a lot of what I've said in a lot of videos, but I mean, if you watch all of my videos, you'll realize that I constantly contradict myself because every situation and every person is different. And you, my friend, will do really well leaving the functional muscle, leaving the powerlifting stuff alone, right, just for the moment, so that you can build a better looking physique, right, you're starting at the right time, you know, November, so you've got some time before the summer gets here to look like real jacked and lean. Don't worry about the diet so much, what I want you to do is follow a, a routine that's bodybuilding specific. That means you're going to do up to three exercises per body part, your workouts are going to go, go a lot longer than they did with 5x5. Five five. Three body part, three exercises per body part, you're going to do three about three or four sets of eight up to 15, maybe 20 reps sometimes of a particular exercise. You're going to hit each muscle, each body part, right? It's more body part training when you're bodybuilding as opposed to uh, f uh, pattern training when you're doing sports performance, power, uh, powerlifting, strongman. You want to hit body parts, right? You're going to want to hit each body part about twice a week. It's completely different than what you're doing right now. And I can tell you right now, going from one end of the spectrum to the other, you're going to get some sort of, sort of uh, response. And this is going to be good for your, you're going to grow more anabolic, like I said. So that's it, dude. I'll keep it short. Change from your 5x5 five five program. It's not supporting your muscle growth. It's not a hypertrophy program. Get onto a strict bodybuilding hypertrophy program. Build that muscle, and with that muscle, you'll have a greater capacity to burn fat. To burn the fat, just walk in the morning, dude. None of this high-intensity interval shit. Not for you. Peace. Yo, Elliot.